Hey guys, it's the Andy Sun here. I'm going to try to keep this vlog as brief as I can so that way I can quickly uh, upload it. But uh, I'd like to cover some things as quickly as I can. I just heard uh, a couple hours ago that uh, one of my favorite J vloggers, uh, Roger Swan, has uh, passed away. I never really met him in person. He was more or less just like a YouTube friend, but he would, you know, usually comment on some of my videos, especially like the Japan related ones, and we'd comment on each other's videos. And uh, he was always really, really super positive. I really enjoyed his videos, and it's a shame that he's gone. Even though he is gone, he is definitely not forgotten. My uh, thoughts go out to his family. Rest in peace, Roger. Changing gears here. I know you guys have probably been wondering, you know, what I've been up to. I haven't been uh, blogging or vlogging in quite some time. The reason being is just I haven't really had a whole lot of online time as of late for a lot of reasons, you know, about it don't really want to get into. I'm going to try to get into the Navy. It's official now. <laughs> I went up to uh, MEPS to uh, get myself officially squared away and uh, did all the medical testing and filled out the paperwork and everything, but it uh, turns out I'm considered overweight for uh, the Navy. You know, obviously my stepdad's furious about it and uh, he's going to be home tomorrow, so he's definitely going to yell at me and everything. I've decided that... Uh, in order to prevent him from uh, kicking me out, I uh, sold all my guitars and equipment and everything in order to come up with uh, rent money for this coming month. That way it gives me the month that I need to lose all this weight, so that way you know, I can just join the Navy. And once I'm officially sworn in and I have a, uh, a time when I'm sent out to boot camp, he'll be definitely a lot more lenient on me. I'm really sad that I had to sell all my guitars and equipment and everything, especially the one that my dad gave me. But on the other hand, I know that uh, with the money that I'll be getting from uh, joining the Navy and after I'm done with the four years of uh, active service and uh, I'm able to go back to college, I can uh, start my guitar collection again and hopefully be able to get uh, bigger and better things. So that's really all I can do at this point. Anyway, as far as what I'm using to lose weight, I'm uh, running on the treadmill a lot, I'm wearing multiple layers of clothing, so that way I sweat more, lose weight that way, and uh, I've also been uh, really watching what I'm eating. So far, I've lost uh, three pounds, so I know it's working, which is good. So that's basically where I'm at right now, and uh, as far as the future of uh, the AndySon.com and everything, it's too early to tell. If I'm able to get a job before May, then uh, it should be saved. Right now, obviously, since I'm strapped for cash, I don't have enough money to be able to pay for the yearly costs of my website, but I should be able to get a job by May and then put away the money that's needed for that. Yeah, I just I'll basically just be working, and then when it's time for me to go to boot camp, then I'll quit and go to boot camp. It's going to be really exciting, especially since I'm going to try my best to uh, get to Japan for my first overseas assignment. This is the Andy San, signing off for now. I'm um, hoping you guys uh, visit Roger Swan's channel. That's R-O-D-G-E-R, -E Swan. Be sure to leave your comments and condolences to his family. And just watch his videos. I mean, his videos are really good. So, this is the Andy San, signing off for now. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Tokyo Swan. Iwate Swan. Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here. I wanted to make a quick update video just to let you guys know how I'm progressing as far as my weight loss and everything for the Navy. It's been 23 days since I started uh, working out and uh, dieting and everything. As of today, um, I've lost over 12 pounds, 12.4 pounds if you want to get technical. I'm now down to uh, 36 inches around the waist. That's pretty amazing considering that almost a month ago I was at uh, 220 pounds, which uh, is pretty heavy for me. 
and uh, now I'm down to a much uh, svelter 207.6 pounds and uh, my overall goal is to get to uh, at least 205 pounds in uh, the next 10 days. Yeah, I've definitely noticed uh, some actual physical changes. I really didn't think I'd actually notice anything if it was just like 10-15 pounds. I might feel a little lighter, but I wouldn't actually look different. But it's mostly my face, I think. At least that's what my mom says. You know, my double chin is kind of disappearing, slowly but surely. I can now fit into a size 34 jeans, which uh, I haven't been able to do since high school. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. You know, like I said, I'm still going to keep on, uh, you know, exercising twice a day and uh, eating right. So that way I can uh, make the 205 mark and hopefully lose even a little bit more weight. Or a little more weight. Yeah, so uh, the next time I go up to MEPS, which should be in about 10 days, I should uh, definitely be uh, qualified. Yeah, sorry for not uh, blogging and vlogging as much as I used to. You know, I've been working out, doing a lot of stuff, so it's it's been kind of hard. Plus, I really haven't had too much to talk about. I mean, my basic day consists of uh, getting up, weighing myself after I go to the bathroom, weighing and measuring around my waist now that I have a uh, flexible measuring tape, I guess, cloth measuring tape, whatever. <laughs> then uh, just exercising in the morning, then eating after I'm exercising, after I'm done exercising, then wait until about an hour after supper, then exercise again. It's been doing pretty good for me. Also, I've been getting a, one heck of a workout shoveling out all this friggin' snow. <laughs> if you guys live in uh, on the East Coast or uh, you live in the Midwest, you definitely know what I'm talking about. You know, it's been just friggin' crazy around here with all the snow and it just, uh, it's killing me. But hey, you know, it's also helped me lose a couple pounds, so, you know, it's not all bad. At this rate, I should be in the Navy very soon. And uh, as I said in my some of my previous videos, I hope to get stationed uh, in Japan for my first overseas assignment. I'm also considering uh, South Korea as an alternative if, I, if for some reason I can't get stationed in Japan or they don't need me or whatever. There's a whole bunch of variables going on that I'm not, you know, fully aware of. Yeah, I'm hoping to get stationed uh, in Japan, prefer preferably the uh, Yokosuke, uh, or Yokosuka, I think it is. Yeah, Yokosuka Station, which is uh, the main station, I believe. And is also uh, one of the towns that the, uh, the late, great Roger Swan visited back when he was Tokyo Swan. It was uh, the real-life Shenmue episode. I'll put the link up that in the sidebar so you guys can kind of see what it's like. So, I mean, it's it's a really nice place. It's got a lot of uh, Japanese-y things, like really tall hills, really tall, like, grass hills, you know, with the roads and stuff. You know, it, it's a big place, but it's not, like, overwhelmingly big, I don't think. I mean, like, it's not like I'm being plopped straight into Tokyo or anything. Or am I? No, I'm not. You know, I'll still get the, uh, the Japanese experience. And the cool thing is, um, I'll probably probably be uh, one of the few foreigners there that are there and they're not a student and they're not teaching English and they don't have their uh, coveted bachelor's degree, at least not yet anyway. But yeah, my basic plans are, t for now, as you guys know, they tend to change a lot, continue to work out, lose weight and everything, get qualified for the Navy, and uh, once I'm qualified, figure out when I'm going to uh, ship out for basic training. Hopefully they'll give me several months. So that way uh, I have plenty of time to work out. Not to lose weight, per se, but to just get my body in shape. Because even though I've lost uh, a significant amount of weight, I don't really feel that my body's exactly uh, boot camp ready, if you know what I mean. Then after... Um, I figure out my ship out date and uh, I'll just basically be working out as much as I can. I might get a job, it, it's debatable. You know, we'll see where it goes from there. Then, you know, once I ship out to basic training, just uh, do the basic training for uh, eight weeks, nine technically if you count processing week. Then go to A school, which I think could range between three to four months. And I believe I'm going to the uh, Pensacola one in Florida, if I remember right. It's either that one or I'm still staying at uh, Great Lakes in Illinois, so. Pretty sure it's Pensacola, but 
you know, it might be Great Lakes. Hopefully Pensacola, because I, I like the warm weather. <laughs> then, after A school, you know, hopefully get shipped out to Japan and uh, stay there as long as I can. And uh, after I serve my uh, four years of active service in Japan, hopefully for all of them, um, I'll be able to use the uh, GI Bill to uh, finally go back to college. Since I'll be in the Navy, I'll also be able to take a lot of uh, college level courses, which uh, they also give you uh, college credit for, so um, I won't have to spend another four years in college. And plus, also, you know, including you know, my credits from ITT Tech and even Urbana, because uh, while I'm in the Navy, I'm going to try to allocate a certain amount of my pay towards, you know, my debts, which include my college debt. And uh, since most of my expenses will already be covered by the Navy, have to, you know, worry about losing too much money or whatever. Yeah, and then after uh, I graduate college, hopefully try to get back to Japan as either, you know, like an English teacher or something in the IT field, you know, whatever comes up. So yeah, um, this video definitely went on a lot longer than uh, I originally anticipated, but that's just the way it goes. So yeah, um, this is the Andy San, signing off for now, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here. I'm um, just kind of out and about uh, doing my warm up for uh, run number one today. I want to talk to you guys about a little something something. The other day, I received an email from uh, Leo. You guys might know from my uh, zero hour work week video. I'll put the link of that in the sidebar. Basically, he emails me saying uh, how he disagrees with me going into the military and that I should uh, just try to get like a small efficiency apartment in the city, find a job, sell some of my stuff to pay for things, and just uh, save up for a year. I haven't emailed him back yet, and I probably won't. I just don't want to focus too much energy on trying to convince people that, you know, what I'm doing is the right thing. I mean, I've tried doing that before, and, uh, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, I can kind of make people understand what I'm doing, but for the most part, it's just, eh, they've already made up their mind, so there's no point in trying to convince them otherwise. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys about, uh, you know, why I'm joining the Navy. I kind of touched on it in uh, some of my other videos, but I guess I never really dedicated a video to just coming out and saying, you know, what I want to say. Basically, you know, I am joining to get some life experience, because, uh, I've noticed uh, for quite some time now that my blog hasn't really quite been uh, what it should be. Even though I've tried to write some interesting stuff and talk about some interesting stuff on my vlogs, it just, I don't know, the quality just hasn't been there for a while. And I really can't let my blog uh, go like this. I just kind of sat down and uh, took a long, hard look at my life. Thought about the things that I want to experience, like going to Japan and filming uh, my exploits there, which might seem frivolous to some, like Leo, for instance. But it became all the more relevant, I believe, uh, after the passing of Roger Swan, because, I mean, if you think about it, even though he's gone from us, you know, his videos are still around, and I hope that they're going to continue to be around for quite some time. So that way, uh, if anybody's interested in going to Japan, they can look at his videos and see what he's done and to get an idea of uh, what's in store for them. And other people's videos too, not just Roger's, but I'm just using him as an example. The reason I really like making videos is, you know, a little bit of the whole legacy thing, you know. If something were to happen to me, you know, I kind of like my blog and uh, my videos on YouTube to kind of remain in a posterity, I guess. So that way, you know, my friends and my family can kind of see what I've been up to. And, uh, I don't know, kind of see the real me, just because I, I feel that I'm not really expressing myself fully towards them. And I feel kind of bad for doing that, but on the other hand, there's a lot of stuff about me that, you know, either they're not really interested in, like the whole anime thing. I try to kind of keep that on the down low in front of them, because they kind of just see it as, you know, weird Japanese cartoons, so I'm not gonna bash them over the head with it. I mean, if they're interested in it, then sure, I'll talk about it, but I don't really see that happening anytime soon. And I just kind of keep to myself mostly as far as like my interests and what I really want. Getting back to the subject at hand, which is uh, why I want to join the Navy, it's mostly just to kind of 
start a new life, really, which is, you know, one of the main reasons why most people join the Navy. I mean, there's the whole serving your country thing and getting education benefits so you can go to college and stuff like that, which, I mean, I'm joining it for that, too, but it's mostly just to kind of start a new life because at this rate, I don't really see myself really going anywhere. I mean, if I weren't going to join the Navy or do something drastic like that, I didn't really see myself going anywhere. I mean, sure, I could get some kind of uh, part-time job at, like, a fast food restaurant, maybe, and uh, scrape by, you know, taking one class at a time at a community college until some far date when I graduate and get an associate's degree. Might get more pay or a slightly better job, but, I don't know, it just seems that my rate of growth would just be incredibly slow if I were to take that path. And I might not even be able to go to Japan. Because, I mean, that's that's kind of my ultimate goal. And I know it seems like I'm setting the bar low for myself, but right now that's my goal. I mean, I might have something completely different lined up for me down the road. When I think about stuff like that, it just... Things get cloudy, and it's just not really a pretty sight. You know, I did that before in the past, and it hasn't really worked out for me, so I'm trying to do, like, a short-term, you know, couple of years planning instead of what I'm, go what I'm gonna be up to when I'm 30, 40, 50, so on and so forth, you know, none of that stuff. Because that could all change at the drop of a hat. I mean, you guys seen it before. I mean, heck, in 10, 20 years, I might not even be interested in Japan. I mean, that's kind of hard to say right now but it's a very real possibility. Yeah, I'm basically just, you know, joining the Navy to get some life experience and uh, some work experience, too, because, I don't know, after being at so many jobs for such a short amount of time, my resume's not looking so hot. At least the good thing is with the Navy, for the most part, unless you've done, like, some heinous criminal acts or whatever, you know, you're pretty much hired. I mean, there's also, like, a bunch of technical medical stuff that you have to go through. But, I mean, for the most part, just about anybody can go into, like, the military. You know, I'm still fairly young. I'm not, you know, straight out of high school anymore, but I still... I'm pretty young. You know, the four years of active are only going to be four years of my life. So I'm going to be, you know, 28, 28, 29 when I get out. I'm still going to have a full life ahead of me. Yeah, when I get out of the whole active service thing, I'm going to just go back to college. If I really do like the whole Navy thing, I might actually sign up for the uh, officer program after I graduate college. You know, if you thought the, Navy, the regular Navy benefits were awesome, officer benefits, well, commissioned officer benefits are like hella awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's that's another possibility. That's kind of, you know, my whole thing is just keeping myself open to possibilities. But I don't want to be too open to possibilities because if I'm too open to possibilities, then I can't get anything done. You know, I try to keep my focus as much as I can, but at the same time, you know, try to look around me for anything that might be interesting. Yeah, I know it's been, this is, you know, I've kind of rambled on, but basically, you know, I want to join the Navy, get some life experience, so that way I can tell you guys, you know, something interesting. So, and also, you know, being in the military looks pretty darn good on resume, especially considering you spent four consecutive years there. So what would I say to uh, Leo if I were to uh, write him back? Basically, I'd just say, you know, thanks for writing me, especially, you know, a really long and a very thought-out letter. You know, it's not just like a quick little email, you know, Andy saw you fucking tarred, you know, just get a job and stop bitching already. It's not like that. I can definitely tell he uh, took some time, you know, put some real thought into it. Yeah, I'd basically just say, you know, thanks for writing. I appreciate it, but, you know, I really feel strongly about going into the Navy and uh, just starting a new life. Because, you know, the way this one has been, has been going so far just isn't really cutting it for me anymore. The whole going from job to job to job just isn't cutting it for me anymore. And I know I hate using the whole in this economy excuse, but especially here in the Midwest, I don't know how it is for, you know, everybody else out there, but especially here in the Midwest, it, it's especially hard to get a job. It's not possible. I mean, like he said, you know, 90% of people are working. You know, it's not impossible, but it's still pretty darn hard. So I'm basically just going to be uh, training for the Navy. And uh, so far I've lost uh, around 14 pounds, which is good. So I'm close to my 15 pound goal. Not sure if I'll reach it by the time I get weighed, but you know, we'll see. Just gonna work out as much as I can. Uh, try not to eat um, after supper. 
that's a big thing. I've really noticed that uh, if, if I eat any time after supper, that's, you know, when I really start to gain weight or nothing happens or whatever. So I go into MEPS on, uh, technically I go in Thursday, I go in, I stay at like a hotel for the night, then uh, I get weighed on Friday, get weighed and measured and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I hope to get the, uh, the good word back. I'm not sure if I'll get like my deployment date, you know, when I'm going out to boot camp because I have to pass an initial physical test before I can even set foot in boot camp which is another reason I'm training. Yeah, basically after I get back from MEPS, I'll probably have my uh, date to take the physical test. I'll just be training really hardcore until uh, until that time. I think the second phase of my training is gonna focus a lot less on uh, weight loss and a lot more on performance. My goal for the uh, physical test is to get at least uh, 60 push-ups, 60 sit-ups, and uh, run the mile and a half in at least uh, 12 minutes. That's my goal. If I get any, if I can do more push-ups or run in a shorter time, great. But I just want to get up to that point. On Sunday, I just, you know, timed myself to see how fast I can actually do it. And I got down to about 16 minutes and 24 seconds. I kind of knew I wasn't going to pass it, you know, but I just wanted to see kind of where I'm at. Just to kind of get an idea of how much training I need. I mean, I only need to knock off about four and a half minutes, so that's definitely a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought I'd take like 20, 25 minutes. Definitely in a lot better shape than I've been in a very long time. I think I'm actually in better shape now than I was, you know, even during the summer when I was biking like 30 miles a day. <laughs> Which is kind of sad, but, you know, when you're not working, you're not really doing anything. You just tend to sit around, go on the computer, you know, watch TV, watch stuff on the computer. I don't really eat a lot. I mean, I'm not sitting there with, like, a bag of chips, just, you know, munching down watching the family guy. But trying to put that behind me and just, you know, try to eat right and uh, work out a lot more. And, you know, it's really doing good for me. In another video... I'm gonna basically show you guys, or tell you guys, my workout. It's pretty bare bones, pretty basic, but I thought I'd show you guys anyway, since I lost close to 15 pounds in a month. I mean, that's, it's gotta be worth something, right? This is the Andy San, signing off for now, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's the Andy San here, coming at you from my car. I have some potentially exciting news depending on how much I get back from my taxes, I might be getting a new guitar. I was thinking about getting one with uh, the money I'd be getting from unemployment, but since I'm not getting unemployment, uh, that's not really happening. So I have to kind of set my standards a bit lower than what I was originally going for. Ideally, what I want to get is a uh, Paul Reed Smith SE1, which is the, uh, the one pickup, uh, kind of like a Les Paul Jr. sort of deal. And I want to get that in white or antique white. And uh, what I want to do is uh, put in a neck pickup, kind of like how uh, John Lennon did with his uh, Les Paul. But instead of putting in another P90 or something, I'll just put in a, uh, a humbucker instead. I kind of diddled around in Photoshop to uh, see what it would look like, and it looks pretty friggin' sweet. Yeah, I'll see if I can get that going, but I'm also gonna keep my eye open for some uh, auctions on eBay just in case I can get like a SE Custom 22 or 24, ideally. Swap the uh, the bridge pickup with a, uh, a P90, then swap the neck pickup out for something different. So it could go that way too. Yeah, just kind of keep my options open, because uh, ever since I sold all my guitars, you know, I've just been feel really just craving playing the guitar, and even when I had, you know, my guitars, I didn't really, at the time, I wasn't really craving to play, and it would just be kind of like an every once in a while thing. Ever since I sold them, you know, I've just been really getting the urge to play. So I'm hoping with the uh, tax money that I get back, I'll be able to buy a new guitar. But if I don't, or if I'm unable to, then I'll probably just uh, get a new camera. Which, uh, if you've seen uh, my uh, one year anniversary vlog, you know what camera I'm going to be getting. It's the Sane News Acti TH1, not TH6. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there, but it's the Sane News Acti TH1. Obviously, it'll be in blue.
Yeah, if the whole guitar thing doesn't work out, I'll just get that. Saving up for uh, my uh, website is uh, coming along pretty well. So far, I've got about 80 or so bucks lined up. So I'm only about 20 or so away from uh, securing the website for another year. If you guys are wondering about the whole uh, Navy weight thing, I did reach my goal of losing uh, 15 pounds. Um, I think it was... Thursday or Friday, I lost around 16 pounds. I go back into MEPS this uh, this Thursday because they uh, they decided to reschedule it, and uh, I'll come back sometime the uh, following Friday. Yeah, I'm doing a whole bunch of uh, sit-ups and stuff to kind of you know melt the waist down, but not really sure how effective those are. So I'm just gonna you know just keep on keeping on with that. Yeah, it's kind of a weird thing. I mean, I'm I've lost so much weight, but I kind of expected you know my waistline to shrink a little bit. I mean, I can fit into a size 34 jeans, which I haven't been able to do since high school but the way they measure it's a little bit above the belly button and apparently that hasn't really decreased that much um, if I remember right I think it only went down by an inch which is good mind you but still not quite what I'm looking for need to lose another inch or a half inch so that way I can uh, be for sure in the Navy yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now I just got back from uh, getting some gas and uh, tax forms so I can get all this crap filled out because I don't really expect that big of a tax return this year because I didn't really work that much. So I'm just going to file the taxes myself so that way I don't have to pay H&R Block or whoever like 200 bucks. Just to get my taxes done, maybe get like 50 bucks back or something. Mm. Mm. So yeah, this is uh, The Andy Son signing off for now, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey kids, it's The Andy Son here. Just chilling after a, a long bike ride. I found out something interesting recently. Um, vlog 32, unbeknownst to me, marked my fourth year as a YouTuber. I can't believe I've been on YouTube for four years now. Although, uh, I was browsing around on it a lot earlier than that, but that's when I set up my account. It was on uh, March 1st of 2006. A lot's changed since then. I go back and look at some of my older videos, especially uh, the first two. My very first video, which was uh, Ben's Karate Ponage. Come on, Ben. Kick his... Which uh, featured my friend Ben uh, kicking this guy in the face. It's only five seconds, but, you know, something. And then uh, my actual first uh, online video debut, where I was uh, playing piano. Four. Go. That was pretty cool. But some of the other videos haven't really aged well, and uh, some of them I'm kind of embarrassed by, like the uh, Andy's Guitar Medley, where you know, I got my mouth wide open doing these weird Eddie Van Halen tapping things, and like, ah, ah, stuff like that. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but I still keep it up anyway, just as kind of a reminder of, you know, where I was at that time, that sort of thing. Like I said before, a lot's changed in four years. I hope that the uh, the next four will be uh, pretty amazing. What are my resolutions uh, for the next four years? Um, definitely get a camera that is uh, HD compatible. I might be getting one with my tax return money if I don't have enough for the guitar that I want like I explained in vlog 32. But if I get the guitar, then uh, I think I'll just get a, get a get an HD camera when I'm in the Navy. 
which uh, shouldn't be too hard with my salary. Hopefully get to uh, show you guys uh, my Navy barracks around town, that sort of thing. Yeah, if all goes according to plan, I should be stationed uh, for A school. Right after boot camp, I should be stationed at uh, Pensacola, in Florida. So you guys will definitely get some uh, cool scenery there. Yeah, after A school, I'm hoping to get shipped off to Japan, but it all depends on where they need me and stuff like that, so I might get shipped elsewhere. Even if I don't go to Japan during my four years in the Navy, I'm still gonna get to Japan uh, when I'm in college. After I get done with the whole Navy thing, you know, the four years of active, I'm gonna go back to college and uh, try to uh, study abroad in Japan, then hopefully uh, film my exploits there. Try to make this video kind of short because I'm running out of time and battery life, so yeah. This is the Andy San, signing off for now. Um, thanking you guys for sticking with me these past four years, and uh, here's to many more. See you next time. Hey guys, it's the Andy San here. Just uh, out and about on a quick little uh, walk. Just wanted to let you guys know what's going on with me with the whole Navy weight thing. I'm proud to say that I am now officially under 200 pounds. Actually, I'm like 199.8 pounds, so I'm like just fucking barely, but hey, I'm under 200 pounds. Yeah, I'm pretty gosh darn excited. And uh, to be honest, I'm kind of surprised that I'm under that because I didn't do any kind of exercising this weekend. I also went to McDonald's, so I ate kind of poorly, but I didn't have I didn't have pop or soda, whatever you guys call it, in your neck of the woods. Tomorrow will be my 50th day without any any kind of uh, like soda or whatever. So I've been drinking mostly water and juice on occasion just to kind of freshen things up, but mostly water. It is a little windy out, so I do apologize if uh, there's too much wind noise. So I hope you can hear, still hear me. I'm also gonna be going back to MEPS uh, today. The reason I didn't go last week is because I got ringworm, I guess, or like some kind of fungus infection on my arm. And at first I thought it was just like a rash, so I just, you know, put some rash cream or whatever on it and it went away for a while but then it came back so i had to go to the doctor and get some official prescription stuff it's going away pretty quick unless you're really looking for it you can't really notice it so that's good I anyway mean, yeah i'll just uh, go up to maps get weighed measured then go to the uh, liaison to discuss my rating which is the term for a job in the navy yeah i'm shooting for the uh, the it rating which is pretty much basically what it sounds like you know working with computers networking from what i've read you know, the IT rating's kind of the, uh, the general computer area. I mean, they're not strictly networking, they're not strictly software, they're just kind of the in-between guy. Now, I could be wrong, but that's just the uh, idea I get from what I've read so far. And uh, the kind of work that they do is uh, largely classified secret, technically. So a lot of it they can't really discuss online, so it's, it's kind of hard to get a good uh, grasp of the, uh, the rating. But it definitely sounds like something I, I might be into. To, you know, get myself a security clearance and do that sort of thing. Now, I was considering going to the nuke program, but to be honest, um, I'm not really sure if I want to make the Navy my career. And with the nuke program, you'd have to sign up for at least six years instead of four. Yeah, right now, I'm not really sure if I want to make the Navy my career. I know it can be. It can be an excellent career if I want it to be, but right now, I'm not really sure if I want it to be. So, you know, my basic plans are to serve the four years of active, then during during my inactive years, just uh, go to college. I'm not really sure what the whole, uh, you know, what I can do during my inactive years because when you're inactive, there is a possibility that they could call you back to duty. But because the Navy is so overstaffed, it's highly unlikely. But it is possible. I don't know if you're allowed to leave the country during that time or whatever, or if you have to inform them that you're leaving. I don't really know. So if any of you Navy guys or, you know, any kind of military guy know uh, about what you can and can't do during your inactive time, just uh, let me know in the comments. Yeah, basically, if I can leave the country or whatever, then I'll see if I can get like a study abroad program so I can go to Japan. I'm going to try to shoot for getting into uh, the University of Finlay. It would be nice to go back to Bowling Green because I, I really liked living there. As far as the school goes, eh, I don't know. It just doesn't really seem like my kind of place. It seems like a, a place you could uh, easily get lost in the mix at. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going to some place like, you know, University of Finlay because 
is the plan. I won't really be at the university. I'll just be uh, studying abroad. And I think if I remember right, it's actually cheaper than BGSU. Yeah, just uh, study abroad in Japan for as long as I can. Ideally until I graduate, but I probably can't do that because there's probably like credits and stuff that I gotta get before that happens. And uh, speaking of which, I'll also try to get a, as many college credits in the Navy during my active years as much as I can so that way I don't have to spend, you know, another four years in college. And hopefully by that point my loans and stuff will be paid off so I'll be able to use all my uh, past credits from like IT Tech and UU so I can put those to good use. I want to go back to college and I like the whole college thing, but I think, you know, maybe at that point, you know, I mean, heck, I'll be around 28, 29 by the time, you know, I'm done with my... Uh, active years. I might not want to hang out with a bunch of, you know, 18, 20 year olds, which is why I'll be uh, getting an apartment instead of just dorming. I mean, heck, I'll be old enough to do that, so I won't have to worry. I don't know if I'll be able to study abroad as soon as I sign up for the University of Finley or if I have to go a year or whatever, so there's a bunch of technical stuff that I have to go through, and that's four years away, so I'm not really too worried about it, but I am, you know, thinking about it. Yeah, just uh, for today, you know, I'm going to be going up to MEPS, get weighed, and talk to my liaison about my job rating, and if all goes according to plan, then I'll get uh, sworn in that day, be given my date for when I'm shipped off to boot camp, or to take my PT, or however they do it, because you have to take a, a physical test, PT, before you can actually go to boot camp, and I don't know if they give you the date you're supposed to take the PT, or like the day you're supposed to go to boot camp, which is... You have to take the PT by this date. I'm not really sure, so once again, any of you uh, military guys out there, just leave me something in the comments if you know. This vlog went on a bit longer than I thought, but hey, <laughs> you guys are probably used to that kind of stuff by now. Oh, one more thing before I go. I decided to get my taxes done uh, professionally just because I was really worried about the whole school tax thing. I'd already done my state, my I've already done my federal and my state because I'd worked in different school districts. Um, I wasn't really sure how to do that, and it's a lot of just like weird technical mumbo jumbo that I didn't really understand. So I just said, you know, screw it, just get my taxes done so I don't have to worry about it. They charged me out the ass. Oh my god, they took about like half of my friggin' tax return for fees and processing and shit. The bad news is I won't be able to get the guitar. Probably not even a fucking camera. So, uh, since I won't have enough money for the uh, camera or the guitar, I'm probably just gonna get something else, which will be a surprise until I get it. I was thinking about selling some things on eBay to get it, but I don't really know what my internet time is gonna be like for uh, the next couple weeks. It's gonna be kind of screwy. And besides, you know, once I get to uh, A school, you know, I'll be able to get the guitar because I'll be getting money and stuff. It really sucks because, you know, the guitar's on sale and it's really cheap. And my stepdad probably yell at me if I bought a guitar anyway. So, you know, where'd you get the money? You know, shit like that. So, it's all for the best. Uh, did it with the camera. If it came, you know, when he was here. You know, where'd you get the fucking money to buy that camera? You know, how come you can't pay us fucking rent? He likes to use the effort a lot. That's probably where John gets it from. Wink. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll just uh, get something else. It'll hopefully be a surprise. So yeah, this is the Andy song. Signing off for now. And we'll see you next time.
Hey guys, this is Danny Son here. I wanted to talk to you about what happened to me at MEPS earlier last week. Uh, I spent a really long time there just waiting to uh, hopefully get my job, or rating as they call it in the Navy. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a rating. <sighs> April Fools! I know it's a little late, but actually, I did get my rating, and uh, everybody's so happy, even my stepdad, although he wasn't initially, which pissed me off, but he later uh, got me this nifty uh, Navy hat from, uh, I guess uh, some veterans were selling them out by Walmart, and uh, it actually has like a little embedded emblem here, and it's metal, and it's it's in there pretty tight, and uh, normally I'm not much of a hat guy, if you guys know me personally. Um, just because I guess my head's too big or whatever, but I'm going in the Navy, I'm gonna have to get used to it, right? Yeah, I'm uh, pretty gosh darn excited about uh, being officially signed up for the Navy, and uh, it is true, I was there for a uh, very long time. I didn't get back home until probably around six or seven. Yeah, I got there, um, just waited and waited and waited for my uh, liaison to contact me. I'm just waiting in there, watching Sports Center again. They did uh, ask me to come in, but they basically just went over uh, some background check questions. They just wanted to confirm, you know, I have this many brothers, half brothers, step brothers, stepsisters, you know, blah, de, blah, de, blah, blah, stuff like that. And they're like, okay, you know, uh, job counts will be out with you shortly, you know, just go out and wait. And I think it was like four or five hours later, just sitting out there waiting, had lunch uh, with the other two guys that came in there with me. Oh, by the way, I did manage to get to see uh, one of my best friends, Tyler. He actually got shipped out that day, so that's why he was going to MEPS. And uh, it was really fun hanging out with him again before he got shipped out. I didn't think I'd get to see him again, so I just left him a message on Facebook, you know, saying good luck. But it turns out he was going with us to MEPS, and I even got the room with him, so we were just... You know, shoot this shit one last time before we got shipped off. And the funny thing is, um, I have uh, two friends that are both going into the Navy, and uh, we all, all three of us had the same middle name, which is James, which I thought was uh, pretty funny. Anyway, getting back to my story, I was sitting out by the liaison's office waiting for the uh, job counselor to come out and talk to me. And I was sitting there waiting, 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 until finally, you know, I went with the other guy and we had lunch. Then we went back out there and pretty much waited for uh, our petty officer to come pick us up. And she did, she came in and left real quick. And uh, the other guy texted her and to ask, you know, what's going on? Why'd you, why would you leave? <laughs> Forgetting something? But actually, she was gonna go get some papers signed or whatever. So I'm like, okay, fine, that's a little weird, but you know, whatever. So she came back and I guess she talked with the office a little bit. And shortly after, they called me back in and uh, they only had a one job available for me that day. Actually, they had a total of eight. But the one job that they wanted to give me was a sonar technician, or STG, which I accepted. And uh, the thing is about that, it's kind of like the uh, nuke program, where it's a Navy advanced program. And uh, instead of doing four years active, four years inactive, see, with any kind of military service, you're uh, contracted for eight years total. But with most Navy jobs, you only have to serve four years active. Then you're in the uh, inactive reserves for the, the remainder of your service. But for the advanced place, jobs, uh, the ratios change. You're on active service for uh, six years, then you're on inactive for two. I was a bit uh, hesitant to uh, sign up for something like that just because I didn't really know if I wanted to make the Navy my career. My mom, my stepdad, and even my relatives, they came over earlier today. Um, they really kind of want me to just do my 20 years and get a retirement check, which I think is pretty nice. It's a pretty sweet deal. But I believe, you know, at this stage, I don't really know if I want to make the Navy my career. And like I said in my earlier videos, I know it can be, it can be an excellent career, but um, if I do want to make the Navy my career, after I get my bachelor's degree, which I can slowly work on while I'm in the Navy, I'm not exactly sure how much time I'll be able to allocate towards class, so I don't know if I'll be able to get my degree entirely while I'm in the Navy, or if I can just peck away at classes, and then only have to take like a year or so while I'm in, and then get my bachelor's degree. But if I do want to make uh, the Navy my career, then after I get my bachelor's degree, I'll sign up for the officer program. Program. And it's pretty cool because uh, starting off as an O1, um, I believe O1s right now are 48 to 50,000 a year, which is pretty sweet for a, a recent college grad. <laughs> but I think that after I'm done with my inactive service, I'm gonna do. Uh 
a study abroad program while I'm in Japan, or going to Japan, sorry. Um, not like the JET program, kind of like what uh, Roger Swan did, where he went to uh, Keio University through Western Michigan. Heck, if I had the funds, I might even be able to do it exactly the way he did. But uh, there's also other schools here in Ohio that I can go through as well. So yeah, uh, that's basically, you know, what happened at MEPS. Uh, let me explain about the, uh, the sonar tech job real quick. There's a lot more details, but uh, I'm just going to give you the basic rundown from my understanding, from researching it and everything. Um, basically what I'm doing, I'm an STG, so I'm a sonar technician uh, above ground. There are sonar techs for subs and stuff, but I'm basically dealing with uh, either stuff on shore or on ships. I deal with the maintenance, uh, setting up, uh, troubleshooting and stuff like that with the sonar equipment, as well as reading the graphs, understanding like if the sonar hits something, what is it? Is it an animal? Is it a ship? Is it, is it rocks? How far away is it? What's the uh, topography? I guess you call it for the uh, ocean floor just to make sure we don't like hit something things like that Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty gosh darn excited if you couldn't tell by my uh, rapid fire talking Which is definitely uh, new for me. I guess <laughs> Normally I kind of slow down and talk like this Which might also explain why my videos kind of have that William Shatner-esque cutting where I'm kind of talking here And it just kind of cuts away. But yeah, pretty excited. I go to boot camp uh, June 23rd, so I only have about two, three months left before I get shipped out there. And then after I'm done with boot camp, I have to stay there at Great Lakes, Illinois, which is by Chicago. I have to stay there for another six weeks for basic, like, introductory classes for my sonar position. Introductory classes for my sonar position. Then I go to A school and C school. A school is kind of like the basic, like, job training thing for most Navy personnel, but C school is the advanced version of that. It's most Mostly for uh, the advanced positions like a uh, nuke, uh, if you're doing stuff on submarines and sonar, <laughs> stuff like that. So I go to A and C school in uh, San Diego. You know, I'm gonna definitely get some footage there. I mean, I know it might be a bit presumptuous to say, but I'm hoping to uh, do a couple collab videos with some of the YouTubers there. Maybe if uh, Jason of the My Argonauts channel's still kicking around the neighborhood, we might be able to hang out or whatever. It might sound a bit presumptuous, but you know, just putting the invitation out there, Jason, if you're still watching. <laughs> After going to, to a ANC school there for about two years, I'll get shipped out to wherever they need me. So yeah, um, this is the Andy Son. Sign off for now. Hope to see you guys again soon. See you next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here welcoming you to another Life In video. In this week's Life In video, we're going to be covering... We interrupt this Life In video to bring you something completely different. A vlog! Yeah, I'd uh, like to talk about uh, what's been going on with uh, some of my videos and things of that nature. I'm really excited to uh, finally be working uh, with my best bud, Ariopolis, on uh, making videos. I think our last, like, real collaboration was uh, way back in the day, some of my very early videos, where uh, he basically just uh, recorded me playing piano or playing guitar or something like that. And even though we kind of collaborated with uh, some Eights and Aces videos, it was more or less just uh, deciding who would be the cameraman for those. And in some cases, nobody was the cameraman. They just sat the camera down and did their thing. I hope you guys have enjoyed the, uh, the Movie Night series so far. Yeah, I know it's kind of long and a big multi-parter thing, but um, I really enjoyed making it, and uh, you know, I enjoy watching it. For some of my uh, more recent videos, including the Movie Night series, I've really been enjoying actually just sitting down and watching them, especially the, uh, the Movie Night trailer. <laughs> I honestly just kind of threw that one together. I uh, had some basic instructions from Mariopolis as to uh, what he wanted it to look like and stuff, and from there I just kind of winged it and, you know, picked the song, which uh, I was in such a hurry to actually do the thing that uh, I forgot to give credit to uh, the actual song which uh, I do in the, uh, the info box. It's, uh, the song is uh, Berry Dreams by the band Carcass from their album Heartwork. As far as my uh, other video series go, um, they're in a bit of a state of flux right now. Um, I'm kind of having troubles with my uh, Life In series. I realized it's one of my uh, more popular series. It was definitely the video series that really got me back into uh, recording videos for YouTube again. And yeah, I did vlog and do stuff like that before, but I don't know, I just was kind of burned out and I didn't really have any new ideas or anything. I'd have to say that the second Life In video was the one that really got me back into cranking out the videos. 
The first one was more or less of a, just an experiment, just to see what I could do. I've kind of uh, hit a bit of a, uh, a dry spell as far as the uh, the Life In series goes. Don't really have too many more ideas left for uh, the local area, anyway. I'm sure that once I uh, move out to uh, San Diego, there'll be tons and tons and tons of Life In videos, because there's just so much to do there, and there might even be like multi-part videos, because some places you just can't cover in one video. I'm also kind of glad that I uh, somewhat brought back the, uh, the JVID series, otherwise known as, let me put that in Google Translator and try to horribly butcher it. Anyway, I did enjoy doing uh, the uh, 10th JVID, which was a response to uh, a video that uh, Miss Hannah Minx did. I really enjoyed doing that one. As far as bringing back the JVID series in full, I don't know if that's really going to happen anytime soon. Um, like I said earlier, I don't really have any plans to bring back the JVID series. And if I do, it'd be part of a, a collaboration, which was the original intent of the series, actually. It was uh, supposed to be a part of the uh, Senpai Kohai project run by uh, Bobby Judo and... Uh, Crimson Igloo, but uh, for reasons that were unexplained, the project kind of fell through. I just ended up doing Japanese, you know, JVIDs where I talk about stuff, and I don't know, it got, got kind of boring after a while, you know, the words got more and more cumbersome to say as I was trying to say stuff, and I tried simplifying what I was saying, but, you know, I could only boil stuff down so far, and then you know, I just decided, mm, I don't want to do that one anymore. And uh, you guys might be wondering about uh, what happened to uh, war. I've noticed that uh, a lot of my war videos, especially the uh, the Marty Friedman Tokyo Jukebox review, has gotten uh, a good amount of views. So there has been interest in bringing that series back. And I actually have a, a good couple CDs in mind for uh, album reviews. Also, there's a the whole thing, you know, well, Andy, you called it Wednesday album review or Wednesday anime review. Remember back in the first episode? War, W-A-R, which will stand for Wednesday anime review or Wednesday album review. And yet you haven't done a single anime review since your uh, half-hearted attempt at reviewing the first season of K-On! So there's also the whole possibility of me doing anime reviews again. I think the Life in series has pretty much run its course as far as like what I'm doing around the local area. I think I have uh, maybe like one or two more videos to do and that'll be pretty much it. Uh, but when I'm in San Diego and stuff like that, I'll definitely bring it back. And as far as the JVID series, unless some great collaboration comes about, I don't really think I'll be bringing that back in uh, full force. I might do a JVID every once in a while, you know, just as a response video to like something Miss Hannah Makes does or some other popular YouTuber just to bring in a, a different audience or something. So yeah, just uh, basically stay tuned and I hope to get more uh, good stuff out to you soon. This is the Andy Son, signing off for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here on a slightly windy day. I thought I'd start off today's vlog with some uh, purple flowers that have been blooming recently. So let's have a look. These guys are by the little bike path shortcut that I normally take. And it's really close to the road and it's all like super windy, so I apologize for the, uh, the excess noise. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the little flowers at the beginning. It's kind of my nod to uh, Kurt from the Softy Papa channel as well as the Lyle's Brother channel. But anyway, in today's vlog, I wanted to talk about the First Impact anime series that I'm working on with my best bud, Ariopolis, also known as the Talkin' Vidalkin. I finished editing it yesterday, and just to make sure things looked right, I tried uploading the first part of it to YouTube, and uh, after it got done uploading and processing, YouTube automatically blocked it in every country except for Japan, I can't imagine why, <laughs> due to our use of the video from Neon Genesis Evangelion. So that kind of put me in a bit of a bind because I had already set up a new YouTube channel, I already set up all these different things, and that happens. Now I've decided to move the new First Impact anime series to blip.tv where you'll be able to view the episode in its entirety without having to click through multiple parts like you did with the Movie Night series. When a new episode of First Impact anime comes out, I'll just put up the intro sequence 
where we basically like talk about the series and stuff like that on my Andy Son channel with a link in the down bar to the new episode on blip.tv. And if you guys are wondering what's going on with my other video series, it's pretty much the same as it was in Vlog 37, but um, I am gonna be doing a new Navy-related video very soon covering what goes on at a DEP meeting. I tried uh, recording one earlier, but I really didn't like the way it turned out, so I'm just gonna be redoing it. Also, I have a lot of uh, fairly old footage that has been just sitting on my computer for ages and ages that I need to upload. And uh, some of it is uh, like older vlogs that I didn't put up on YouTube. Some of it is uh, like alternate takes of vlogs that I put up on YouTube that I re-edited and found out that they were kind of interesting. Yeah, some, so some more uh, lost vlogs are gonna be coming out as well as a new Navy related video. Yeah, the first Impact Anime series is going to be uh, coming up shortly as well. This is the Andy Song. Sign out for now. Hope you guys check out the first Impact Anime series, as well as my upcoming Lost Vlogs and my Navy related videos. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's Andy San here. Just doing a quick little vlog to explain uh, what's been going on lately. Over the weekend, I recorded several new episodes of First Impact Anime with uh, Ariopolis, also known as the Talking Badalkin. Those will be uploaded uh, once a week. I know what you're probably thinking. Well, Andy, how can you possibly upload those episodes when you're in boot camp? And the short answer? I can't. I'm having the Talking Vidalkin upload those episodes for me while I'm in boot camp. I already have them all pretty much edited all the way up to episode 6, and that includes the little intro bit that I put on my YouTube channel, the bloopers extended intro for a behind the flop, and the actual episode itself. Now as far as the uh, little intro thing for YouTube goes, um, that'll be on his channel while I'm in boot camp. Then when I come back from boot camp and I have sufficient internet and my computer and all that fun stuff, um, I'll put all the intros up on my channel. I'm really pretty nervous about boot camp, to be honest, and uh, I'm just like afraid that I won't uh, be able to get stuff right or won't be able to make it and stuff like that. But I've talked with uh, several of my friends who have gone to boot camp. It's kind of a mixed experience. Uh, I talked to one of my friends and he said it was really hard the first couple weeks, but as you progress, uh, you get better at what you do, so it's a bit easier. Uh, I talked to another one of my friends, he said the whole thing was was cake. And uh, one of my other friends said uh, it was hard at first, but um, after like the first two, three weeks, it became really easy. Yeah, um, I talked to my friend Tyler, who uh, recently graduated boot camp and uh, he was in the area over the weekend as well. I was really surprised to see him because I mean I didn't think he'd get uh, time off this uh, soon after graduating. He lost a lot of weight in boot camp. Um, I think he said he lost like 40 or 50 pounds. It's crazy. He weighs about as much as I do and he's I think like six feet six and a half feet or six foot seven. Big guy. So yeah I'm pretty, pretty nervous about the whole boot camp thing but you know, I'm sure I can uh, pass it and everything. But uh, getting back to uh, my other YouTube series, um, I tried recording a new Life In video a couple days ago, but apparently it didn't save on my memory card or something. I don't really get it. But I had a whole thing recorded, and uh, it was uh, for the Montezuma Airfield, because uh, one of my viewers suggested that I do a little thing on that. And uh, I went out there with my camera, I did my little thing, I uh, even did a quick run through uh, Montezuma, and uh, went back home to go and edit things, and nothing was on there. So I'm like, crap. <laughs> the past two or three weeks have been uh, pretty crappy weather-wise, so I haven't had uh, too many chances to go out and film stuff. Sorry if there's no new Life In video this week. Um, I'm hoping to get some up before I go to boot camp. But uh, at this rate, I'm not really sure if it's going to happen. So you might not be able to see the Life in series until I get to San Diego. So I do apologize for that, but yeah, it's just the way things are going right now. I might be able to sneak in a Life in episode, but uh, don't count on it. So yeah, I go in for my last DEP meeting today. I'm pretty nervous about it because I haven't completely memorized the Sailor's Creed and or the uh, Eleven General Orders. 
but I'm gonna be doing some cramming on my way there. I'll have a bit of a fresh memory when I go and they ask me what are the 11 general orders, what's this, what's that, that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's basically what's been going on in my neck of the woods. You know, I've been busy editing a ton of videos that Ariopolis and I did for First Impact Anime. I haven't had too much time to work on my other YouTube series because the weather's been so crappy and stiff like that. So yeah, this is the Andy Son. Signing off for now. Hoping you guys check out the newest episode of the First Impact anime series. Um, we did a review of uh, Code Geass, so that'll be fun. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, before I go to boot camp, I'll be doing a special, like, goodbye video. Yeah, it'll be kind of a tribute to my channel. I know it's kind of ego-stroking, but it's just a big, you know, thank you to you, my audience and to my friends, my family, and stuff like that. So that way, you know, if they're on YouTube or something and they somehow find this, you know, they have something to uh, look at, something to help them remember me, and things like that. So yeah, um, definitely look forward to that. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's Andy Son here. Just chilling out by the spillway here. Let you guys have a look. Basically, this is going to be my going away vlog. It'll be my last vlog before I enter into the Navy service. As such, um, I will, I'll be in boot camp for the next uh, two months or so. So obviously I won't be posting blogs or vlogs. But I do want to say that uh, the Talking Vidalkin will be uploading new episodes of First Impact Anime. We already recorded the first 13. He's going to upload them on a weekly basis and everything. So if you're wondering why uh, there's new videos on my YouTube channel while I'm in boot camp, I gave him the password, so he'll just be uploading stuff from uh, his place. Uh, it'll also be uh, on my blog as well. I gave him an account so he can upload stuff too. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, pretty excited, pretty nervous. Uh, I'm really just kind of hanging in there as far as the whole pre-boot camp thing goes. And uh, I'm going to be getting some last minute things taken care of, like uh, packing up my clothes clothes, selling my car, putting my computer and stuff away, so that way uh, when I'm done with boot camp my parents can uh, ship it out to me. I'm also going to have them ship out my camera too, so I'll be able to continue making videos. It's been a crazy journey these past couple years, and uh, I'm really glad you guys stuck with me. But this is certainly not the end. It's actually a new beginning, both uh, for me as well as a new beginning for my blog, my vlogs, all sorts of things. Yeah, I hope to uh, continue making videos videos even while I'm in the service as well as when I get out. I hope you guys continue to watch my vlogs, read my blog. I hope you guys uh, still are subscribed to my channel by the time I come back because uh, there's going to be some new stuff, um, a, new life in a new life in series. The vlog and vlogs are just going to totally kick off. I see my battery's running kind of low uh, so I guess I better uh, end things here. This is the Andy Son. Signing off for the last time here in Salina, Ohio. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, it's Sandy Son here. Um, did you miss me? It's uh, it's been, definitely been a while since I last recorded a video, but um, I'm just uploading this uh, quick little um, webcam thingy uh, to YouTube to say that uh, no, I'm not dead, and yes, I am out, finally out of boot camp, and uh, right now I'm at uh, ATT school, which if you know a little something about how the Navy works, um, normally right after you get out of uh, uh, boot camp, you go to what's called A school, where you learn more about your uh, actual job in the Navy. But because I'm an advanced rate, I have to go to ATT school, which stands for uh, Apprentice Technical Training, I believe. And then I go to A school, 
then I go to C school, and after C school I have to take some uh, sonar classes, and then maybe, just maybe, I might get to see my first ship. So that'll be about a year or so before that happens, which is why I signed the uh, six-year deal to begin with. But uh, anyway, like I said earlier, I just wanted to record this uh, quick little webcam video to say that I'm alive and well, uh, busy of all things, and uh, I haven't received my uh, St. News Acti yet, so I can't uh, do too much recording. And I'm just doing a webcam thing, so I can't edit this. So you're going to hear a lot of pauses and things like that. So that's why I'm talking really fast to uh, kind of get rid of the uh, extra pausing. And uh, yeah, once I get my camera, there's going to be uh, uh, the Life In series is definitely going to be coming back. Um, last weekend, uh, me and a couple of shipmates went to uh, downtown Chicago and even though I've been to big cities before, um, I've never actually walked through the city before because my mom was always super paranoid about everything. So we would just drive around the city and if we wanted to get out, we'd get out as close as possible to the you know, destination. And uh, yeah, it was really interesting. I actually uh, ran, in my first, ran into my first bum. <laughs> Yeah, he was asking for change and saying, oh, you got a job, you got the money. It's like, yeah, it took me like six months to get this job. I don't, you know, come on. <laughs> but, and whenever we stopped for even like two seconds, you know, we just get like rushed by people saying, excuse me, sir, I need you to sign this for like a donation to needy children and blah, 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 blah. And we were taught by our... Um, RDCs over in uh, boot camp. RDCs are basically the Navy equivalent of drill sergeants, by the way. Um, we were basically taught by them to uh, just kind of ignore the uh, charitable organizations on the street and try not to buy anything that people try to uh, hustle you and just try to avoid that whole scene. There's nothing really good can come out of it. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is going to be a four-day weekend, so you know, I plan on going back down to downtown Chicago, checking out the sights, doing some more walking around. My feet are still kind of sore from uh, last weekend, but you know, I'm still going to stick through it. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. And hopefully when I get my camera, we'll start up the Life In series again and posting some pictures of downtown Chicago which the architecture down there is just beautiful and I was I was really to be honest I was really pissed that I didn't have a camera with me because it was just wow seriously <laughs> um, and uh, I also want to address something else uh, because I'm in ATT right now I don't really have that much time to be devoting towards uh, YouTube videos and blogging and things like that so I won't be posting nearly as much as I did in the past but I still want to try to make at least a weekly segment for like life in uh, like stuff I do over the weekend and um, I also want to take some uh, input from you guys it, are you interested in possibly me talking about what went on through boot camp um, like uniforms basic like preparations for boot camp, things like that. You know, I'm kind of interested to hear what you guys uh, have to say. And uh, as always, your suggestions uh, will be taken into uh, consideration for new Andy San videos. And by that, they will most likely be turned into Andy San videos. <laughs> uh, but I see it's getting to like the five and a half minute marks, so uh, better cut things off here. This is the Andy San, signing off for now. Uh, thank you, you guys for sticking with me these through my er, <laughs> take two. This is the Andy San, signing off for now. Thank you, you guys for sticking with me through my two-month hiatus while I was in boot camp. 
and uh, tune in for uh, future Andy Son videos. And as always, see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, it's the Andy Son here. It's, uh, it's definitely been a while since I've done an actual like vlog, but uh, school's been keeping me pretty busy. But yeah, uh, the other week I got new glasses. Um, I really didn't like them at first because I thought that uh, they made my eyes look a little, little buggy. You know, I get like, big bug eyes. But I'm warming up to them, so it's all good. I have some good news to report. I got my orders last week, so I'll finally be going to sunny San Diego on the 23rd of November. That's when my flight leaves. So I have to be all done with school by the 22nd, which, uh, all things considered, it's looking pretty likely, so I'll be able to get done with school way before that date and uh, basically just chill out on hold for a couple days. So yeah, um, things are definitely starting to look up for me. And uh, it was really tough at first, especially you know going through the classes because I'm more of a software guy at heart, so dealing with uh, like voltage and current and capacitors and resistors and ductors transistors and all this other stuff. Um, it was really hard to get used to. So, but thankfully my uh, instructor has been uh, very informative and I guess you could say like patient <laughs> with me and all my questions. So yeah, um, got about six and a half days worth of work left to do. And I'm basically just taking it easy over the weekend so I can recharge the batteries so that way when the beginning of this week comes, I can just plow right through all that stuff. If you guys are wondering uh, where in San Diego I'll be, since there's uh, multiple military bases, I'll be stationed at a place called uh, Point Loma, which is, according to Wikipedia, a seaside community of San Diego. And uh, the base is a lot smaller than the base here in Great Lakes. It's about a quarter of the size. So everything's within like a be one two mile radius which is good because if you got to go to the you know, the uh, the store or if you got to go to like the galley you don't have to walk for miles to get from one point to the other it's all within a quick walking distance uh, but on the other hand if uh, you're a little behind on class and you don't have time to go out and do stuff then you can get uh, pretty antsy but I mean I don't care, I'm gonna be in San Diego, I'm gonna be in California. I mean, the weather's like 70 degrees, 80 degrees out there. Actually, I think this week it's gonna be a little cold in the 60s, ooh, better wear my jacket for that. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, here in uh, Great Lakes, um, the winds can get pretty fierce at times, and uh, it's also, starting to feel a lot like winter and uh, it's, it's just getting cold and, and even though I'm from Ohio I don't really like the cold I mean sure if there's snow it looks great as long as I don't have to drive in it or walk in it too much but overall I don't think I'll really miss Chicago too much I mean obviously walking through downtown Chicago it was it was great and there's a lot of really awesome architecture but as far as this base goes I like it, but, uh, you know, I've pretty much done my job here. So and I'm get, looking forward to uh, going to my next uh, command. Been uh, keeping in touch with all the guys from my boot camp division. Um, one guy is on his way to a frigate out in uh, Florida. He just left. To go, he went uh, on leave a couple days ago, so he's going to be with his family before he actually goes on board and uh, another guy's gonna be stationed in uh, San Diego. He's got shore duty. Uh, another one of, my guy, one of uh, the guys that I hang out with here, he's, he's got shore duty in uh, Virginia. Uh, it's not Norfolk, it's uh, some other place in Virginia. Virginia Beach, that's what it was. I just don't remember that. Um, so things are looking up for them too. It's just, every day I still can't believe that I graduated boot camp you know, over two months ago, and that I've been here on this base for over two months. It just, you know, some days, you know, I feel like I just got off the bus in my dress whites, you know, and just got plopped here. And 
sometimes on other days it feels like you know I've been on this base forever so you know it's just it's kind of weird how time passes especially when you're in the Navy it just like I guess it, you feel like you get more done per day like I can't believe I got so much schoolwork done in one day you know here as compared to you know when I was in ITT Tech or even over at Urbana and uh, yeah, it's just, it, I don't know maybe it's just me you know, maybe the other guy, Navy guys can uh, vouch for the weird feeling of time passage uh, but I mean if you guys are wondering about how uh, A school is or you know how training is over here um, it is a lot like college I will say that it's in fact some di <laughs> sometimes it's eerily a lot like college like I mean you got the same you know roommate BS that you got to deal with um, I mean if you've been to college before like a real college not like a, a technical school but like a college you've been in a you know you live in, lived in a dorm, dorm room setting, you've had to deal with roommates, and if you've done that already, and you come to this base, you're gonna find, it's, I mean seriously, it's it's almost real how much this is like college, but obviously the big differences are, uh, you know, that it's, you know, you gotta wear a uniform, actually you gotta wear multiple uniforms, but, uh, you wear a uniform, you come down for um, head counts, they call it muster. Um, you got you have duty days where you like clean the ship or you stand watches and you have to earn certain phases of liberty in order to wear civilian clothes or go out go out on overnight liberty. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of uh, big differences between college and uh, a navy training facility. But there's still a lot of similarities. Kind of caught off on a tangent there, but it's just, um, yeah, school's going really well now. And uh, I told myself, uh, like, a little after I got my orders, that I want to take out a loan in my bank. Uh, but I have to wait till the six month anniversary of uh, me joining the bank in order to take out a loan so that way I have a, like, a history with that bank. So it makes them. Uh, it makes it more likely that I'll be approved for such a loan. And uh, I'm just taking out like a little starter loan to kind of help build up my credit. Uh, they said I could withdraw. I believe it's five to six hundred dollars, and I'm gonna be using that money for a new guitar. And uh, I'm not gonna actually buy it before I go to San Diego because I don't want to risk it getting damaged in the flight. So I'm gonna wait till I actually get to San Diego and uh, get all settled in and everything. And then I'm gonna go out and buy five to six hundred dollars, buy a nice guitar, or, or get one online. I have my eye on several of them. Um, I'm kind of juggling between either like a I like this uh, Dean ML, like the guitars that uh, Dimebag Daryl used to play. Um, there's this one in a blue burst finish that I think is really good. Um, some of the pictures make it look like a really light blue. But in actuality, it's actually a lot darker than that. So um, I watched this one guy play it, and it sounds really good. And uh, it's a fixed bridge, so you know I don't have a whammy bar or anything like that. But in all honesty, I don't really incorporate whammy tricks into my guitar playing, so it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, the closest thing I had to a whammy bar was my Strat. Even then, I hardly ever used it, so. It's not that real big of a deal to me. Um, also juggling between that guitar and uh, possibly buying a PRS SE1 and modifying it some. Also think about just getting like a classic Les Paul or like a, an SG. Um, there's also an Epiphone Wilshire uh, that I played a while ago. That's That one's a pretty good candidate as well. But I'm thinking I'm for the first guitar I'm gonna be going for the DNML. Because <laughs> I just like the way it looks and I've never really had a problem playing with Deans, especially the necks. The necks have been really, really solid. And I just like the look of the ML. I mean I really wanted to get the Dean from Hell, 
But in all honesty, I feel that if I would buy that guitar, people are gonna be like, oh, you think you're dying back, Daryl? You think, you know, can you play Cowboys from Hell? What about Cemetery Gates? Oh my God, dude, are you in like a Pantera cover band? And, uh, well, that's just a problem with signature guitars in general. So, I mean, I didn't want to be put in that situation. I still wanted to uh, get a guitar in that body shape without people thinking that I'm trying to be Dimebag Daryl or something, you know? And that was kind of the same thing that I felt about getting a Jackson Kelly, because that was my second guitar choice, was getting a Jackson Kelly, but I didn't want everybody to think I was Marty Friedman or something. Um, and besides, the only Jackson Kellys with set necks that I could see without actually going to the custom shop was uh, ones with Floyds in them. And, I mean, Floyds are cool, you can do a lot of cool stuff with them, but with my playing style, it's not really conducive because I have my hands set on the bridge so hard that it might like detune things a bit and just, I don't know. I don't really use the wave bar that much anyway, so whatever. Um, but yeah, and if I have any money left over, I'll see if I can uh, maybe buy, a, buy an amp or something. I got my eyes set on several amps, like the, uh, the PV Viper is a good choice. I'm also thinking about getting uh, a Jet City amp. Uh, I've heard lots and lots of uh, YouTube videos, people playing that amp, and it just sounds great. So, yeah, <laughs> I guess this vlog went on a little bit longer than expected, but I just I just wanted to get some things out there so you guys know that I'm still alive and kicking, and I'm almost to San Diego, and uh, things are looking really good for me so far. So, yeah, this is the Andy song signing off for now. Uh, thank you guys for uh, still sticking with me even though I don't update nearly as much as I used to. Uh, I, I can't thank you guys enough for you know, just reading my blogs, um, subscribing to me on uh, YouTube, on Twitter, um, just sending me all your Navy questions, um, just commenting on my videos, favoriting them, liking them. I mean, it, you know, at the end of the day, it just, it, it really means a lot, knowing that putting so much work and so much effort into these videos, you know, people are starting to, you know, like them. And it's just, it's, it, it's a really good feeling, especially, you know, at the end of the day when you've worked really hard and you get it out there and people are like, oh my god, that's so cool, and all that stuff, but yeah, I'm rambling again, so, uh, once again, this is the Andy Song, signing off for now. And as always, see you next time. Bye guys. Hey kids, it's the Andy Song here. Guess what? I just comped, which means uh, I graduated ATT school, which means that I'll be on hold for the next six days before leaving for sunny San Diego. More specifically, Point Loma. So yeah, just chilling after lunch. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice being all graduated and, uh, yeah, I'm uh, beginning to enjoy life again, <laughs> as it were. So what does this mean? Um, basically now that I'm going to hold, I have a lot more time to, uh, devote to the AndySound.com as well as to, uh, blogging, vlogging, all that fun stuff. Now. Keep in mind that I still have a job to do, uh, so I won't have nearly as much free time as I did before I joined the Navy, but because I'm on hold, I will have significantly more free time, but just not as much as I did before. You'll probably see uh, vlogs and vlogs come out at a more frequent pace than they were before because I'm not on Mando anymore, and I comped, which basically means graduated, so, yeah, um, I'm just really excited, if you couldn't tell, um, and I'm just basically gonna sit here and chill for the next six days until my flight leaves, and uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely a well-deserved semi-vacation. I've been uh, working my ass off for the past two months to try to graduate, you know, putting in damn near 12-hour days. You know, going to school for seven, going to Mando for about three or so. Just, you know, working, 
you know, making stuff happen. And uh, finally happened. So, yeah, life's good again. Um, so we'll see if I can get some uh, cool stuff out to you. Um, like I said um, in one of my posts, I believe, um, I'm working on a new uh, album review. I'm working on a bunch of different other things. Or a bunch of other different things, but I got an album review in the works. I still have some uh, end facts to uh, post, and uh, as well as edit and uh, film, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, otherwise I'm just going to be uh, chilling for the next six days, just uh, resting, uh, recuperating, and that sort of thing. So yeah, this is the Andy Son. Signing off for now. Um, thank you guys for being uh, so patient with me and uh, if you have questions or anything like that as always uh, send me a message on YouTube uh, send me an email comments you know whatever and as always we'll see you next time bye guys hey guys it's Andy San here just uh, chilling on my last weekend here in uh, Great Lakes Illinois um, just hanging out the loft the sound room so I can uh, actually do a vlog with some uh, peace and quiet. <laughs> it's about, probably the quietest spot on base, actually. You know, I don't have people running around behind me or yelling and all kinds of craziness. So, yeah, um, I'm just, you know, chilling, enjoying my last weekend here in civilian clothes. You know, it's definitely good to wear a t shirt and jeans for the first time in like four months. <laughs> um, yeah, I like to take some time out to, uh, just apologize for not putting out as many videos and stuff as I would have liked to during the course of my time here in Great Lakes, but keep in mind my schedules as a sailor is uh, pretty hectic, so um, I normally put in like about seven, seven and a half hours of school every day, um, and when I was on mandatory night study, I put in an additional two to three hours. So pretty much, I couldn't really do anything during the weekdays. And if it was my duty day, I would have watch, probably like, you know, midnight to two o'clock or some craziness, so I'd get no sleep, and uh, it was a really grueling process. And there were some times where I just really, really hated it, and I just felt like I wasn't getting anything done, and, you know, am I ever going to graduate, <laughs> all sort of stuff, but... Um, my goal every day was to put in a full day's work. If I could put in more, put in more, but at least put in a full day's work. And I just kept on doing that. Didn't really mind how far behind the computer set I was, or how many days behind I was, and all this other stuff. I just ignored it, and just kept on chugging along, and I graduated, so... Yeah, and uh, six days ahead of schedule, mind you. <laughs> so that's always nice. Um, but yeah, um, I definitely wanted to do more as far as like more life in videos, and I can do more end facts wherever I'm at. It's just uh, just a matter of uh, sitting down and uh, doing what I got to do. But the life in series is dependent on where I'm at physically, so. I would have loved to have done more videos in Chicago, which I know I've said this like a bazillion times already in all my videos, but Chicago does have really amazing architecture. So if you're ever in the area or thinking about uh, taking a visit to uh, Chicago, to Chicago, um, definitely check it out. You won't be bored, <laughs> guaranteed. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I'd like to uh, definitely try to do as many life and videos as I can while I'm in Point Loma as well as downtown San Diego of course um, so if there are any uh, particular spots that you're curious about um, curious about seeing learning more whatever just uh, hit me up with a comment uh, or send me a message or you know do what you gotta do <laughs> and I'll try to get there do a video you know yeah, um, my parents came down last week, last weekend, so um, we did some stuff at Hard Rock Cafe, managed to get in a few pictures, um, 
maybe I think like I did a couple videos or whatever. So um I'm be putting that together for like a my last life in video here in uh Great Lakes, Illinois. So that's gonna be fun. Um Yeah, I'm also looking for uh, new ideas in addition to resurrecting old ones, but I'd like to uh, incorporate newer ideas before I start rehashing some of my older ones, so... Um, I don't know. I'm opening up the floor to you guys. What would you like me to, uh, to do, I guess? <laughs> um, I've just been kind of putting out some, uh, different videos every once in a while, like the, uh, the pie in the face video, uh, is surprisingly catching on. Um, last I checked, I think I got, like, 40 or 50 hits in the past day, which is, uh, which is pretty amazing. So I think that'll be a big hit. Um, but unfortunately, those kind of opportunities don't come up every day. You know, we had to earn the right to throw pies in the faces of our SDCs. <laughs> you know, so. But I'll see if we can do some, uh, fun stuff. There's definitely a lot of cool, uh, Liberty activities and stuff going on at the base in Point Loma. I don't know of too many of the details, but yeah, it should be fun. Um, but like I said, I'm curious to see what you guys have to say for uh, stuff that you'd like to see from this channel. And uh, yeah, I'm also thinking about resurrecting some old ideas as well, like the uh, like war. Um, I'm going to try to make it as consistent as I can, you know, but keep in mind, tight schedule, so. <laughs> but I do have one, at least one album review up, you know, and working. I still have to do the script. The script is mostly done. Uh, then i got to film it, edit it, render it, upload it, then uh, dress everything up all nice and pretty. So, yeah, uh, videos are definitely very, very time-consuming compared to either a tweet on Twitter or, like, an actual blog post where there's no video or pictures or nothing. So, but I really enjoy doing videos. Um, Why? Well, I just, uh, I just do. It's, uh, it's definitely a, a different art form than, uh, you know, writing out something on a blog or tweeting or doing pictures or whatever it's and especially to try to keep the uh, length of it down because I know you guys don't want to see me you know wander around like this for the next 10 minutes you know blathering on so I try to keep it as short as I can but I like to cram as much of it <laughs> as much info as I can into a really really short time space so I'm trying to do the best I can in shortening my videos but I have so much to talk about that I end up with like these 10 to 15 minute long epic videos. <laughs> so I apologize for not keeping it short and sweet. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to. You know, just getting ready to go to Point Loma. Going to be starting packing tonight. I'm going to be some light packing. And then tomorrow is when I'm going to be packing everything. And uh, getting all that stuff ready. Um... But until then, I'm pretty much just chilling. So, yeah, this is the Andy Son signing off for now. Hoping uh, you guys' weekend is as good as mine. And, uh, like I said earlier, if you want to uh, put something in the comments of places you'd like to, to see, either in Point Loma, San Diego, I hear uh, LA and Hollywood's pretty close by too. So, that would be kind of interesting to do. Um, yeah, just. Leave comments, questions, concerns, whatever you would like to see on my Andy Son channel. And as always, we'll see you next time. Have a good one, guys. Hey guys, it's Andy Son here, just uh, chilling on the tail end of Thanksgiving weekend. Um, if you've been wondering what I've been up to lately, uh, I've just been kind of busy. Uh, look, getting used to the uh, local area. Basically uh, trying to find some... Uh, new ideas for uh, some future life in videos as well as uh, just getting used to the area in general, getting used to the new base um, meeting some new people, meeting people that I uh, originally met back at ATT in Great Lakes <laughs> and just uh, resting, relaxing that sort of thing uh, there's no internet in my room yet but uh, here you can uh, 
order it, unlike over at Great Lakes. So uh, that's good. So I'll be able to update you guys on a more frequent basis than uh, before. Yeah, a couple days ago I called my parents just to see what they were up to, wish them a happy Thanksgiving and all that. And uh, apparently my youngest brother Raji is going to be going to court soon because uh, I guess he was in alternative school uh, a week or so ago and uh, he wasn't doing what the uh, instructors wanted him to do or something. And uh, so he's been labeled as an unruly child. So he's going to be going to court for that. So I don't really know what's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to like send him to a detention center, like a juvenile detention center or something. Or if they're going to expel him from school or both or what. But basically, it's, it's, it's pretty friggin' crazy over there. So I know it's... <laughs> Kind of uh, sad to say, but I'm, I'm really glad that I got out when I did before all the uh, proverbial shit hit the fan. <laughs> and uh, my other brother, John, he's, uh, I guess he invited his girlfriend over either this weekend or he's going to invite her over next weekend. I'm not really sure. Mom wasn't too clear on the details with that. But yeah, I hope they uh, either had fun or will have fun. <laughs> I don't know, I've just been in kind of a weird mood lately, just uh, thinking about stuff. Uh, it's uh, kind of hard to imagine that my birthday is actually coming up in a couple weeks. I'm just you know, going to be turning the big 2-5 very soon. And it's, it's kind of got me thinking about uh, where I you know, basically see myself in life. You know, I don't really, I haven't really had a girlfriend or any serious relationship or anything like that. And... Uh, I don't know, I'd like to change that, especially seeing uh, all my friends uh, on Facebook either getting married or popping out kids or, you know, stuff like that. So, um, not that I'm going to get married or have some girl pop out a kid anytime soon, but <laughs> um, it's just nice, it would be nice to have some kind of a relationship, you know, I think. You know, it's about that time. I've been uh, procrastinating long enough. Um, didn't really have one in high school because uh, a lot of the high school chicks fucking sucked, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, didn't really have one in college either because I wasn't in college long enough. I was only there for like a year. Which, uh, I don't know, most of them were. I don't know, just not really my type. Not that, you know, this base is crawling with uh, chicks that are my type, but I don't know, I just feel like it's uh, time to get the ball rolling, so to speak, with uh, forming a relationship. And, uh, I don't know, we'll see where it goes. If it doesn't go anywhere, then whatever. But, you know, if something does happen, then yay! <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's, you know, my 25th birthday has also got me thinking of a bunch of other things. That's the, that's the main thing, just, uh, it's got me thinking of a bunch of other little things, too. And it's just, it, it's weird that I'm going to be 25 very soon. I never really felt like this, you know, with my other birthdays. I mean, 21 was fun, but, I don't know, it's just different, it's... It's almost kind of depressing, really, just thinking about it, which is weird. I never feel depressed on my birthdays. But, uh, I don't know, I've just been kind of depressed lately. I don't know why, you know. All this really cool stuff's happened to me, and if the Andy from, uh, like, a year ago knew what the Andy now was doing, you know, he'd probably be, uh, fucking slap me on the head saying, you know, what the hell are you thinking? Why are you so damn depressed? You know, snap out of it. You know, you're in San Diego, fucker. <laughs> I have to deal with cold weather and, you know, a bitchy-ass stepdad and, you know, mom doesn't really get me and all this other crap. But I don't know. I don't know what it is with me. It's, you know, depression is uh, just, uh, it's really weird how it just comes out. Like, I, would, I could understand, like, if there was a loss in the family or if I didn't get the job that I wanted or if... You know, something would have triggered this, but I don't know. It's like a whole bunch of really good stuff's been happening to me lately, and I've just been getting depressed. Like, why? 
you know, my birthday's coming up. Um, I'm going to be going on leave 10 days after that. So I'll be able to come home and see my family, see my friends, all that other cool stuff. And yet I'm sitting around the room just moping, you know, and, and I, I just don't really get it, you know. But I, it's probably just a phase, you know, I might, you know, be back to my normal self soon once, uh, I don't know, like the, like the normal uh, working days are established and I kind of get used to how things are run here. So, uh, I'm hoping that happens, because I really don't like being depressed. It's just depressing, to be honest. So, yeah, this is the Andy song, signing off for now. Uh, thank you guys for checking out my latest vlog. And, uh, you know, check out some of my other videos, too. Like, you know, I made some real uh, gems, especially back in the day. I had some really cool ideas and some not-so-cool ones. So, uh, just... Uh, Leave me your comments, uh, suggestions for future videos, you know, either in message form or comments or, yeah, you know, usual stuff. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, it's Danny San here. Um, I'm just getting ready to go back home on Christmas leave. And uh, before I left, I uh, decided to record this video to show you guys around my new room. So, check it out. Okay, here's my desk. Um, it's definitely a lot different than the one at Great Lakes. And I have a, a lamp and a trash can that I need to uh, take care of before I leave. Here's my TV. Um, we also have, a, I think, like basic cable or something like that. I don't know. And a vacuum came with the room, too. Here's my roommate's desk. He's got a little mirror thing going on. And here's our fridge. Um, it's actually a lot bigger than the one at Great Lakes and it actually has a freezer portion, which is nothing in it right now. And, oh good. Um, apparently my roommate emptied out all the food stuff so it wouldn't spoil. And there's my collection of water bottles, which don't really have much water in them. You know, since I'm going on leave, I won't really need water. <laughs> And there's some honey mustard. It's our microwave. Um, the thing about the microwave is, uh, since it's in a really odd spot in the room, uh, there's no plug for it. So whenever we have to nuke something, uh, we have to pick it up and put it to a place that's near an outlet. So, yeah. Um, there's the door. These are closets. Um, and here's my closet which I will open up for you right now. Okay. There we go. Okay, we got some light going on in here. We still have a little bit of organizing to do, but for the most part, it's organized. Got my covers, my navy ball cap, and laundry, and NW, yeah, NWs, hats, covers. I mean, and uh, got a sea bag. I'll fold it up nice and neat. There's my civilian clothes. Um, here's my uniforms. There's my undershirts, PT gear. Um, my dress blues, which I'm not taking home. Um, I decided not to take them home because I didn't want them to get damaged in the flight or creased or whatever. Uh, there's my, you know, cold winter PT gear. Here's my uh, NSUs, whites, more NSUs, and all this other stuff. And here's my Dean. Um, I'm also leaving this here, unfortunately, because uh, I don't want to have to pay an outrageous baggage fee or have to worry about it getting crushed or whatever on the way there and back. Um, and there's my garment bag, which is full of stuff. <laughs> and there's me!
there's the closet. And then there's my bed. Um, there's my uh, <laughs> friggin' hoodie, backpack, and my little laptop, little mini netbook. There's my little, uh, like, uh, bedside table thing. There's my bags. They're all packed and everything. And, yeah, that's my room. That's my roommate's side. So, yeah, that's my room. I uh, just wanted to give you a, a quick little tour of it. It's not really much here, but I enjoy it. And especially, I especially enjoy having only one roommate instead of, instead of having to deal with like four or five of them. So that's uh, a definite plus from, you know, what I had before. Uh, but I better wrap this up. So, um, so yeah, it'll be good to see everybody again. And I haven't actually been home home for uh, about six months since I left for boot camp. I haven't been home, haven't seen my friends, uh, nothing. So it's uh, definitely going to be fun seeing the old gang again. The next clip is going to be me at San Diego Airport. Uh, so enjoy! Hey guys, I'm at the uh, airport right now just uh, hanging out. It'll be a couple minutes before uh, I get on board and it'll be about an, an hour and a half or so before I actually land in Phoenix. So uh, that should be fun. See you there! a long look. It'll be about two more weeks before I see San Diego again. So, I'm just gonna enjoy it while I can. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed.